Hey and welcome to this week's Inbound Debate. As always, I'm joined by the extremely handsome Nick Pateman and the dashing Dan dashing. Holt. And this week, we're gonna be talking about Google's big announcement with Penguin 2.0. Um, now, for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, in the last week, Matt Cutts made a video um, which pre-warned that Penguin 2.0 was going to roll out in the next um, few weeks, I think he said. And he also went through a bunch of other things pre-warning what Google's gonna crack, on, crack down on this year. Now, we're mainly gonna focus on Penguin um, on this talk because obviously everybody's been waiting for this latest Penguin update. So I'm gonna start off with quite a broad question, um, but like, what do you guys think the next Penguin is gonna look like, Nick? Um, other than black and white, I don't know. Oh. Uh, very good. Um, yeah, I think the next Penguin might, we might be getting ahead of ourselves thinking that it's gonna be like super, super groundbreaking. I think it's about, right now is about the time you might expect all that data that came through from the disavow tool to actually make its way through to the algorithm. Um, so we could see a much smarter, well, I think we almost certainly will see a much smarter Penguin. I wouldn't say it would go that far in kind of being real time or like cracking down on, you know, low quality guest posting and stuff. I, I think that stuff's a little way off still. But I think in terms of getting a grip on the spam and stopping these, these sites, because they, they are still ranking from spam, I think it would just be much better at identifying that kind Dan, of thing. Dan, what do you think? Yeah, I, 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 very, very similar. I, I think there's still an, an, an awful lot of market. I think last year what Penguin did really well was it took like the real black hat stuff and it, and it heavily, heavily penalised those sites that were, that were guilty of it. I think that what was then left over was an awful lot of markets where you still had the dominant websites engaging in predominantly low quality guest posting techniques. Um, certainly there's an awful lot of markets that we operate in where that's frustratingly still the case, despite me all the time preaching that, that people don't, uh, that people shouldn't be doing that. Um, so I'm really, really optimistic that this is going to have a significant impact on those yeah. markets. So really, not necessarily penalise, but really, really heavily uh, devalue those yeah. guest posts. No, I definitely agree. And I think it comes down to the point that if when Penguin was rolling out last year, you were kind of holding your breath and you were like, am I going to get hit or not? And you didn't get hit. I would guess that you're probably going to get hit this this yeah. this this time around because, um, like you said, it's probably smarter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, don't keep holding your breath because that, that could be dangerous. <laughs> that, right? yeah. um, now, the the interesting thing about this video is because Google pre warned not just about Penguin, but they pre warned about other things that they were planning to cut down on to kind of um, warn webmasters, I guess. Um, but what specific? Activities are Google going to be cracking down on in 2013? Nick, something like I don't want to, like, obviously the things that they still look at and, and they can't quite crack down on right now are like hacking and really, really black hat stuff. Uh, but in terms of things that you, you could imagine them, them really getting a hold of, it is this guest posting stuff. I mean, for the last couple of years now, guest posting, like, became massive in 2011. Um, and then it kind of got taken on and people just, it, it, it just got, it just got, Basically, it was just the next level of spam. Um, so I think we'll see all these low quality guest posts really getting cracked down, which, which is a great thing. Dan, what do you think? I think what's going to be really interesting is, is Matt Cutt specifically mentioned a number of um, slightly more shady markets, shady industries, whether that's you know, porn or, or payday loans or, or whatever it may be. I think that's going to be really interesting because they're talking about specifically targeting those markets. How the hell do you t specifically target a market that almost by definition is going to be full of you know, the sort of dregs of the internet? I mean, it's going to be really interesting. Are these, are these porn so sites... So you're saying are, are these ban the results? Well, I, I know, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. So what's going to be interesting? Are these porn sites going to have to engage in really like clever PR and social <laughs> yeah, like, campaigns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's going to be... Well, how's the new, the new photography site? Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know. I've always had a long-term approach to these. Yeah, that's classic. I'll go well. Well. Okay, we I mean, in 2013, Google also said they're going to crack down on advertorials um, like we saw with the Interflora so they're obviously going to work that into their algorithm they said they're going to soften Panda um, so maybe yeah. not as extreme like black and white yeah, yeah. Um, I think yeah it's really interesting that they've said they're specifically targeting these spammy um, industries I think it will be really interesting to see what will happen after like all the spammers go like will there be any results like who will rank who will rank for like gambling Some or anything? Random blog uh, do you know what I mean? Like, who's yeah. going to rank? Have you seen the payday loan results? Who's going to rank if they ping like everyone? Be, I think that's going to be the most fascinating thing to come of it. I think the moment Penguin's launch, go check those results with gambling, casinos, payday loans, binary options, whatever. See if Dick's still there. Yeah, see if I'm <laughs> never yeah. there. Try it. Well, thank you very much, guys. Um, as always, please tweet at us. Hashtag in, um, at inbound debate. Uh, we want to know from you and hear, hear your feedback. 
Um, please comment on this video, let us know what you think might be happening in 2013, and correct us. Um, does any, do, do any of you guys have like anything else to add before I kind of... Have I got, have I got time? Have I got time? Oh, you've got, you've got, you've got 20 Minus seconds. 10 okay, seconds. 20 seconds. I'll make a really bold statement and say, by the end of this year, Link uh, building, as we, we've called it for the last 10 years, um, as a standalone technique, will be a redundant practice. Scaremongering, that's that bad. Is, yeah, yeah. That's terrible hype. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. Uh, this has been the Inbound Debate, and we'll see you next week.